overnight wash and goes, my favorite way to wash and go while I sleep. <laughs> What's going on guys? If you're new here, my name is Nicole Charnel. Welcome to my channel. And if you're an old tubby, hey girl, how you doing? So we're going to do an overnight wash and go. If you saw from the timestamp, yes, it is 4 p.m. and I'm about to go to bed. I have a crazy work schedule. I literally work at like 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. So yeah, I go to bed super early sometimes. <laughs> anyway, so my hair is freshly washed, nice and clean. And I'm going to start with some water. And I'm just going to spray water on my hair just to kind of re-wet it uh, so my curls can kind of pop. I had dried my hair previously. And then I'm going to put some cream on it. And the cream I'm using is Eden Body Works. It's the coconut curling defining cream. I love this cream. It always works really good for me. And then I just top it with a gel. This is the Cantu Shea Butter Style and Define Gel, I believe it is. And I love this gel. Now, sometimes I use the actual Cantu cream to go with the gel. But the Eden Body Works gel works really well. So after I apply the gel, I'm just going to, to loosely twist my hair. Now it kind of looks like a tight twist, but it's not. It's a super loose twist. And then I'm just gonna like coil the ends and then I'm gonna move on to the next section. So once again, I'm going to wet it with water and then I'm going to add my cream. And as I add my cream, I'm really raking my hair to get my hair to clump together how it does naturally. And then after I add the cream, I'm adding the gel. Sometimes I use a, a pick or a comb to um, detangle my hair a little bit. My ends are not the best right now. I'm kind of trying to grow them out. So I have to use the comb sometimes. But anyway, so I rake and then I get my hair to clump naturally and this way when after I do the loose twist and like when I take it out in the morning the hair is already clumped together so you'll see when I take my hair out the next day that it already kind of has its own curl pattern in it it's not an actual twisted curl pattern it's like a wash and go pattern because of this step that I do where I define my curls Okay, so then after I twist that up, I just go ahead and do another section. The main thing about my overnight wash and go is the defining of my curls prior to twisting. The second main thing is my hair is going to be wet when I take it out in the morning. And I'll show you, you can clearly see the product in it and everything like that. This does not bother me. It still works really well for my wash and go. It does not cause frizz. My hair ends up super defined and it stays defined for days just like I do with a regular wash and go. The key is really raking the product through your hair, defining your curls before you twist up your hair. Your hair just stays clumped together when you loosely twist it and then when you take it out you just do it gingerly. So I've been doing this method for a long time, um, probably since I first started growing my natural hair out and really doing my wash and goes. This method works for me because I can let it sit overnight. I don't have to worry about it drying. I don't have to worry about using a diffuser or anything like that. You can take it out when it's wet and it still looks like a really good wash and go. So this is the end of my twist and I'm just, my hair is parted basically the way I'm gonna wear it. So that's why it's off to the side here. And I'm just going to actually put a mi microfiber towel head wrap, <laughs> excuse me, on my head. I don't show you, show me doing this, but I'm about to go to sleep and then here is the next morning so it is three in the morning yes I know girl it's crazy but um, I'm taking down my twist now as you can see you can still see the product in my hair my hair is still wet it's still super juicy but it's not dripping it's like kind of like has dry on the outside wet on the inside type of thing you know like when you have a twist out and it's not all the way dry but the difference is this is not a twist out it's still a wash and go as you can see from when I take my twist down I'm doing so very gingerly especially in the front of my hair the front of my hair already has a looser curl pattern than the back does so I have to be very careful when taking my hair out I do not separate my hair a whole bunch I just separate it where it naturally separates just like you would with any other twist out but I'm looking for the clumped curls basically I don't pick my hair I don't pull it out stretch it out nothing like that I kind of just let the 
curls clump as they would and I just take it out just like that. So here is the end result. As you can see, you can clearly see product in my hair. This doesn't bother me. It may bother some people, but it doesn't bother me. I don't mind because it dries really fast. It does not dry white. Um, and my hair will be dry within like 20, 25 minutes from this stage. So I actually still have to drive to work this day. So I just drove to work and had the, the windows cracked a little bit and that was it. So here I'm showing you a couple days later, this is my hair. It's still defined. It's shrunk up a little bit because everybody has shrinkage, you know, <laughs> but you can tell it's a wash and go and my hair still looks good. So this is my overnight wash and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. You can do so by hitting my picture on the left. And if you haven't seen my previous video, what you waiting on girl, make sure you hit that video on the right. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.